Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Verses in contemplation and taking lessons in the glorious Quran. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, So take a lesson, O people of insight. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. Taking lessons is one of the greatest characteristics of believers, and one of the peculiar qualities of a pious people. Those who contemplate and take lessons are the people of insight and mindful hearts. The Almighty Allah says, There truly is a reminder in this for whoever has a heart, whoever listens attentively. When contemplating the glorious Quran, one finds that the Almighty Allah has urged us to use our minds in taking lessons, reflecting reflection and contemplation. This is a top priority and even one of the highest acts of worship. The Almighty Allah said, So take a lesson, O people of insight. He the Most High also said, Say, look at what in the heavens and on the earth. In another verse Allah said, Have these people not traveling through the land with the hordes to understand and ears to hear. Among things that the glorious Quran called us to take lessons from among things that the glorious Quran called us to take lessons from is the sequence of a day and night. And the difference between them as this gives insight for mindful people. The Almighty Allah said, Allah alternates the day and the night. Surely in this is a lesson for a people of insight. Allah also said, It is He who made the night and the day follow each other. So anyone who wishes be mindful or show gratitude. In a hadith Qudusi, Allah says, In my hands is the authority of all things, and I alternate the night and the day. When the following Quranic verses was revealed, there truly are a sign and a creation of the heaven and earth and an alternation of the night and day for those with understanding. The Prophet has said, Woe is to those who read it but never contemplate. Even in the bounties that Allah has put in the animal in order that human can benefit from, there are insight to think about. For example, the Almighty Allah showed us in the Quran that the glory that He glory be to Him creates us for a, creates us a milk, which is a pure drink that comes out of the body of the animal that also includes blood and waste. Allah said, "In the life of stock too, you have a lesson. Well, give we give you a drink from the contents of their bellies, between waste matter." and blood, pure milk, sweet to the drinker. Allah also said, there is a lesson for you in a livestock. We produce a milk for you to drink from their bellies, and they have many other benefits. From them you may eat. This indicates the great wisdom and power of Allah and His bounties over His creatures. The glorious Qur'an has urged us to think, to think and take lessons from the stories of prophets, which include insights, lessons, and admonitions. The Almighty Allah said, There is a lesson in the stories of such a people for those who understand. This revelation is no fabrication. It is a confirmation of the truth of what we what was sent before it, an, ex an explanation of everything, a guide and a blessing for those who believe. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds.
May Allah's peace and blessing upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa his companions and followers. There is no doubt that the, the glorious Qur'an is rich with the verses that calls for contemplating and taking lessons from the stories of a previous nation and their punishment after they had disobeyed. The commands of their Lord, the Almighty Allah said, do, not, do they not draw a lesson from the many generations we destroyed before them? Through whose dwelling places they now walk? There truly are signs in this for anyone who understands. Allah also said, Have they not traveled through the land and seen how their how their uh, met their end? They were mightier than them. They cultivated the earth more and built more upon it. Their own messengers also came to them with clear signs. Allah did not wrong them, they wronged themselves. Allah also said, the people of Ad behaved arrogantly throughout the land without any right, saying, who could be stronger than us? Did they not realize that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who created them was stronger than them? They continued to reject our message. About the people of Thamud, Allah said, As for Thamud, we gave them guidance, but they preferred blindness. As they were struck by a blast of humiliating punishment for their misdeeds. Regarding the people of Lut, who have been severely punished for their theological and behavioral deviation. Allah also said, We shall send the punishment from heaven down on the people of this town, because they violate Allah's order. We left some of the town there as a clear sign for those who use their reason. Allah also said, And so when what we had ordained came about, we turned town upside down and rained down stones of packed clay on it. Layers upon a layer. Mark it from your Lord. It is not far from the evil doors. So how much we need to think about and contemplate to take a lesson. And this strengthened faith brings the love of Allah and implements in our heart fear from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and hope for his mercy and forgiveness. We ask Allah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us among the people of understanding and consideration. And we ask him the Almighty to protect our country Egypt and all other countries of the world. Thank you.